Hi, everyone. So to start with, uh, what did we mean by uh, universal flow control? So basically, we meant by that the control and measurement of fluid flow at milli, micro and sub micro scale. So why did we use the word universal? Because we uh, we work, we can work with our equipment using any fluid, meaning either gas, liquid, or even fluid mixtures such as emulsions or folds. Uh, basically, who are the main users of this equipment? I guess you all, uh, but uh, overall, it's any researcher or industrials, uh, people that are working at low flow rate, so, but, uh, so below around 50 ml per minute, so basically under a laminar condition. And how do we achieve the best in this field? Basically by combining high accuracy flow control systems, so basically the pump that Elbeflow provides, together with a high accuracy flow measurement instruments, the, the sensor which Broncourse provides. Thus the reason of this webinar today. Um, to begin with, so a quick introduction, a quick overview of the three main uh, flow control methods currently used in uh, microfluidics and low flow. So uh, two you might be familiar with, so syringe pump and peristaltic pump and pressure driven flow control, which is uh, what we use here at LVflow. So um, as a reminder, so uh, in the syringe pump, uh, the liquid is pushed thanks to the mechanical movement of a plunger into a, a syringe. And so these methods are the advantage of having good volumetric control, but due to the non-linearity of, of the mechanical movement of the plunger in the syringe, this leads to a first a quite pulsatile flow. And I guess you guys who've already been using syringe pump can testify. And also to quite long response time in the, in the several second range. On the other hand, a uh, peristaltic pump uh, uses the mechanical action of a rotary element on the flexible tubing to push the liquid from the inlet to the outlet. But uh, the main hassle with this technique is that it leads to an even more positive flow than syringe. 